in this tutorial we will learn remaining sketch commands we will be learning all the modify commands click on create sketch select the plane we will create one rectangle In modify commands, first command is fillet. Click on fillet. Select first line, select second line. Then give the radius of the fillet. We can also create fillet by clicking on the corner. Then press enter. Your fillet will be created. Now these two fillets are linked with equal constraint. If you want to give different fillet to this arc, select this equal constraint and delete it. Then click on dimension, select the arc and you can give different fillet and press escape. We have already seen the trim command. The next is extend. Suppose I have some object here. Click on sketch, extend. Extend will extend up to the next object. Just click on the object you want to extend. The next is break. It will break at intersection. Click on break. Then click on the object. Now this object is divided into two object. It has broken at intersection of this line and this line. Same way if I click here, it will automatically sense the intersection point and it will break there. The next is sketch scale. Select the object you want to scale. Then click here and select the reference point around which point you want to scale. Suppose I want to scale around this point give the scale factor if you want to increase the size of the object give value more than one and if you want to reduce the size of the object give less than one suppose i want to increase it i will give two the size of object has become double zoom fit here pan it and if you want to reduce the size give value less than one suppose i will give point for you it will reduce the scale and click on ok Again sketch. Then next is offset. If you want to create parallel objects, then you can use the offset. Click on offset. Then click on the object you want to create offset for. Now it is selecting the complete chain. If you want to select a particular object only, then you have to remove this tick. Then it will select the particular object and it will not select the complete chain. Click on the object. Then give the distance, offset distance, it will offset on that distance. And if you want to change the direction, place minus sign before the distance. It will change the direction and click on OK. Again offset. Suppose I want to offset the complete chain, click here and select the complete chain. Then give the distance, click on OK. Then next is mirror. For mirror you will have to create a mirror line. We will create one mirror line. I will take this line command. Click on this construction and create one mirror line. I want to mirror around this line. Click here on this green symbol. Press escape. Then click on sketch, mirror select the object you want to mirror then select here and define the mirror line and click on ok it will mirror around that mirror line then next is circular pattern i will create some object i will create one circle and one more circle here i don't want it construction I will cancel this construction. 
press escape i want to array this circle on this bigger circle click on sketch click on circular pattern then select object select this circle then click here on center point and select the center point then define number of atoms how much you want suppose i want it to be 6 then from here you can control whether you want full array or partial array for partial array you can choose the angle and then specify angle here in how much angle you want to fit those object and if you want to reverse the direction click before the angle value and give negative sign there it will reverse the direction same way you can create symmetric array also your object will remain in the center and array elements will come around it i will take this symmetric so your element is at the center and array elements are distributed around it i will make it 7 so that it will show it properly i will choose here full by clicking on these ticks you can suppress the elements also those elements will not be created and if you don't want to show the suppress point you can remove this tick it will not show the suppress point and click on ok this array is created and if you want to edit the array here one symbol is added double click on it it will again bring the array dialog box from here you can make the changes suppose i want to show them back and I want to make it 8. Ok. Then next is rectangular array. For that also I will create one circle. I will give it 15. Enter. Enter. Then click on sketch. Rectangular array. Then select the object. Select this circle. Then here you will have to specify the extend distance that is total distance within which you want to fit the number of object suppose i want to fit this object in 100 distance and i want the quantity to be 5 so it will fit the object in that much distance and if you want to give gap between two atoms click here on the extend and click on spacing in that way you can specify the distance between two atoms here you can define the quantity then from here you can choose it one direction or symmetric if you use the symmetric your object will remain at the center and array will be created around it suppose i want it to be one direction then same way in other direction you can give here the quantity number of atoms and the distance how much you want this will be the again spacing because we have chosen the spacing option suppose i want it to be 20 and if you want to reverse the direction then place negative sign before the distance in that way it will reverse the direction and if you remove the negative sign it will again reverse it to original position click on ok that's all thanks for watching we will stop here